Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic fish boon diagram. Uh, friend, this is a very interesting topic uh, with respect to project management. We will see this topic in detail that what is fish boon diagram and uh, friend uh, with respect to exam point of view if you are planning to give exam of project management uh, in any university or PMP exam so let me tell you that this topic is very important and you will definitely definitely see this topic in the exam at least four to five questions you will definitely see in the exam related to fishbone diagram so uh, uh, remember one thing that you don't need to draw the diagram you just need to understand the concept of fishbone diagram also friend if you are a professional project manager so again this is important for you to understand uh, the fishbone diagram that how what is fishbone diagram and how we can use it in the professional or practical life so friend let's start uh, first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start fish boon diagram friend uh, this is a, a diagram basically this is a diagram and uh, uh, normally uh, uh, we call it as a cause and effect diagram or Ishikawa diagram as well so one of its name is cause and effect diagram in Ishikawa diagram is as well why we called it as a fish moon diagram because the diagram is very similar to fish uh, the shape of shape fish so that's why I think uh, it's called it as a fish moon diagram so friend uh, this diagram is called as fish moon diagram cause and effect diagram in Ishikawa diagram Basically friend fishbone diagram is a tool that can help you perform and cause and effect analysis for a problem you are trying to solve. See friend here um, fishbone diagram or cause and effect diagram or Ishikawa diagram basically it's a problem solving tool. Basically we use this tool to analyze the cause and effect diagram cause and effect relationship. For example if you are facing some problem let's suppose you are working in any organization in any for example in any factory or plant and you are seeing you are noticing that the productivity of the plant is not so good is decreasing day by day this is a problem okay so you have to analyze that why what are the reason that, um, that what are the reason that uh, your the productivity of plant is decreasing so first of all you have to identify the cause effect you already know okay effect you know but here you have to identify the causes so causes what would be the causes like for example uh, materials are not good uh, people are having trouble are having issues among each other uh, the uh, the morale of the team is very low the electricity problems etc etc so basically you have to identify the causes and it will definitely it will definitely result as an impact or result the cause or impact okay so basically a uh, fishbone diagram tells you the cause and effect relationship like you have to identify the causes and then the impacts you will definitely automatically calculate the impacts so that is called as friend fishbone diagram and cause and effect diagram let me show you a very simple example fish uh, fishbone diagram is the structure is look like this for for here on the left side you have to identify the causes these are the causes and here on the right side it will show you the effect okay uh, that means that you have to identify the causes here what are for example take the same example of uh, the example of uh, the productivity of the, the plant factory factory is decreasing day by day so you have to identify the causes here what are the causes like people are having trouble or issues among each other the uh, morale of the team is very low material is not so good uh, having electricity problems water supply issues so etc etc so many causes can be there and the effect is effect is that the productivity of plant is decreasing day by day this is the effect for example if uh, uh, for example if people are having issues among each other so what are the uh, what are the output what is the impact the productivity of output or productivity of plant decrease so friend uh, the fish moon diagram look like this it is a very similar shape to fish basically and 
on the left side you have to show the causes you have to identify the causes and on the right side the effects will be displayed now how to create the diagram friend friend uh, the f to create a fishbone diagram it's very very easy and uh, see friend first of all you have a uh, problem solving statement in your mind that what are the what is the reason it which force you to draw the diagram uh, are you getting my point so first of all a problem should be in your mind clear problem you should have to identify the problem what exactly is the problem then you have to identify the causes okay for example uh, you can say uh, the software uh, whenever the quality of software is not so good okay La uh, for example customer satisfaction customer is not satisfied with the uh, with the with the software for example this is a uh, this is a problem so you have to identify the causes what are the causes for example employees are not happy with the management uh, this is one example for example the scope was not defined properly the testing was not so good quality assurance was not so good uh, there were issues left in the user acceptance testing however still it was deployed in production so friend there are so many causes which will result as a unsatisfactory condition of customer so first of all you have to identify the causes and based on the causes you can result the effect or impact of that causes so friend this is called the as the concept of a fishbone diagram so coming towards main topic that how to create a diagram what how you will di create a diagram first of all draw problem statement draw problem statement means that first of all it should be clear in your mind that what is the problem for example same like customer is unsatisfied uh, each every time uh, each and every time whenever you deploy a product on on production customers and is unsatisfied with your product or project so you have to identify the reasons and causes what are the reasons and this is your problem statement problem statement mean issue issue means if customer is not happy with your product uh, the productivity of plant is decreasing day by day uh, employees are leaving the company uh, on monthly basis the turnaround is very high uh, so you have whatever the problem is there you must have to identify and clearly define the problem there draw major causes categories mm, uh, you should have to first of all uh, don't go on the detail first of all you have to identify the categories categories should be clear in your mind that what are the major categories major categories means like people is, is a category software is one category material is one category hardware is one category so categorize the problem category first of all major causes of categories then brainstorm causes brainstorm causes means friend that you have to understand you have to discuss with the team sit with them try to understand their problem and categorize brainstorm the causes categorize causes categorize the each and every causes determine deeper causes then uh, once you have identified the categories you have to identify deeply the causes like in detail in detail like which software is not working properly which particular material is not delivering on time which cause the uh, which cause an effect on delay so identify the root causes identify the root causes friend root cause means that what is the major uh, impact uh, major cause which causes delays which causes impacts as a delay for example uh, for example let's suppose that uh, let me tell you a very simple example that cust whenever you deploy a product on software uh, on production customer is not un is unsatisfactory unsatisfied with your product so many many causes are there like for example employees are not happy uh, uh, software is not so good technology is very old uh, quality assurance is not done properly user acceptance testing was not properly done so what is the root cause here main problem is that the employees are not happy because they are not getting the salaries on time due to which they are unhappy with the management and they are not putting 100% so due to this reason uh, they are not giving 100% and your software having problem each and every time so root cause is there you so must you must have to identify the root cause uh, by using the fishbone diagram 
so friend uh, fish moon diagram like first of all you have to identify like this for example very similar machinery is there uh, methods are there procedures are there materials people so all these are the causes in effect our impact is the problem statement so friend you have to do like this the main purpose of fishbone diagram is to identify the root cause of problem you first of all on the left side you identify the categories then you drill down these categories into main uh, causes like people like which people per people belongs to it are not working like their software technology is very old etc so first of all you have to identify the categories then drill down these categories into more detail and based on that uh you and your problem statement is clearly should be defined properly in your mind that what is the problem statement and once you identify the causes on the left side and uh, problem statement on the right side then you can reach uh when you dr drill down each and every cause in detail then you reached at some level at which you can say that it is the root cause of problem the root cause means the major cause of problem due to which problem is occurring so friend uh, that's all for my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you